Taliban takes place. Paul is passionate about doing his bit in Afghanistan. Whether it is out on operations giving first aid lessons or working in Camp Bastion's primary health clinic. I know you're feeling well in yourself at the moment. You've, you have no allergies or anything like that. The clinic plays a crucial role in keeping right. everyone at Bastion fighting fit. Right then, you feel the sharp scratch. The plan is to screen out all the minor injuries and the minor stuff, and that frees up the doctor's appointment book so he or she can see the more serious patients. Treating the soldiers is a far cry from his job as an auditor for a lift and escalator company. It's very different to what I do back home. In fact, I would think that my work colleagues uh, back home seeing me doing this would find it really strange because uh, I work in a completely different environment uh, to this. By giving his spare time to help in the clinic, Paul is trying to make the most of his six-month tour. I, I do like um, being a medic. So I'm, I'm pretty uh, pleased with myself that I've managed to actually work in the hospital rather than playing cards or, or doing something less productive. But there is one person whose recovery is much more important to Paul, and that's his new wife, Tina. Hi, love. How are you doing? So how you been? Right, okay. And, and you just have a new routine checkup today? Right. Alright, good. Love you. Bye, love. Bye, love. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'm starting to miss home now. Now I've uh, been out here, what, three and a half months. Uh, miss the wife, miss the kids. I just can't wait to get home. It's December, and Tina's course of radiotherapy has just ended. Her 10-month-long personal battle with breast cancer is finally over. Take it off. I'm, I'm all right. I'm not too bad. Just a bit tearful sometimes, but apart from that, I'm quite good. I mean, yeah, I can't believe how fast it's growing. Um, and my eyelashes look longer as well, sort of. And she has also reached another milestone in her recovery. With her hair growing back, Tina no longer needs her wigs. These are the wigs, what I've, I have worn at many occasions when I've been out, but I can't believe that I've, I've actually worn them. It's just unbelievable. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but um, they need to go to a good home. <laughs> Sometimes not flowering often. With more strength and energy, Tina is getting her life back. She can now do the simple things that her illness made impossible. It's sort of just slowly eating me, what I've actually been through. And, you know, and that I want Paul back and... I know I wish you never went, but that's that's the way it is, isn't it? We spoke to Paul today. He rung a couple of days ago. Um, he's doing it all right out there. Throughout Paul's deployment, Tina has had the support of her close friend Sandy. She's she's coped, but it's been very very hard. I mean, I've had her in tears on me many a time. I mean, she's even rang me in the middle of the night when she's been having a bit of a downer. And I said, hang on, I'll be up in a minute. And I've got in car, gone up and spent the night up there. If I'd have been on my own, I'd have got really emotional and, you know, really bad. Um, but because she's been there, it's made me stronger. Darren is about to be sent to the front line, where conditions are even tougher. So his mates are seeing him off with all the luxuries Camp Bastion can offer. Large pet bone. Last night here, pizza, non-alcoholic beers are all the lads. Can't ask for anything better, you know what I mean? 
a good laugh. Can't believe all of them come as well tonight just to see me off. Like, it's really nice of them. Oh, it still tastes good, doesn't it? Even though the beer is non-alcoholic, one of Darren's friends takes a bet to eat an old piece of pizza they found in the sand. Just take a, just take a nibble. I'll tell you, tell you, is it? If you eat all of it. No, just have a oh, bit of it. Oh, 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 no, you won't. Oh, 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 my God. Mate, you've got to eat it all. You can't stop now. Oh. What the fuck? $30. Enough oh. stuff to get me by. From this point on, Darren will be running smaller convoys directly through Taliban territory. I'll be based in a patrol base called Shazad, which is in the green zone uh, area of Nadi Ali. Uh, a lot more responsibility. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Just where were we before we got here? You said you've never been on a, a chopper. Yeah, have you? Look at that, that's amazing. That. That's a that park, you know, I've been living in a fog, I've been living rough. I'll have no facilities, I'll have to wash my own clothes by hand. I'll be my own boss, and it's just that is living the dream to me. That is awesome, and it's for the rest of the tour. So I'm so chuffed. So uh, yeah, it's a lot more dangerous. Camp Bastion, it's not dangerous at all. Like it's, a, it's like a little holiday camp. But in Darren's new and remote base, daily phone calls to Holly will be a thing of the past. Uh, she's devastated. Uh, I was speaking to her this morning. She's really upset. There's not a lot I can do though, you know. Two and a half months without speaking to her. I'd be a broken man by the time we get back. I tell you. Not knowing if Darren is safe is going to put a huge amount of strain on Holly. The remainder of his tour is going to be the biggest test the young couple have faced. It's nearly a month since panel beater Darren Morgan left the safety of Camp Bastion to run convoys from a forward operating base in the dangerous area of Nadi Ali. I did have one phone call a couple of well weeks ago now, talking to me like normal all of a sudden. Like I heard a massive bang, but it wasn't far from him, and I heard like rubble falling and him like kind of slipping because he he swore on the phone to me. And I said, what's that? And he was like, he's rushing off. I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. And he hung up. To take her mind off the dangers Darren faces every day, Holly is focusing on the organisation of the wedding. But she has some reservations. It's just, you obviously don't want to build something up so much. And it might not happen because he's not home. I know that sounds really horrible. Just want him home first and then wedding after. Yeah, how are you? You OK? <laughs> Yeah, the ones I tried on were like really, really like similar style. That's it. Mm -hmm. My friends have been really supportive of my family, so I've been lucky. I've been over Darren's house and seen Bev a couple of times, stayed over there. I, it's brought me and Bev a bit closer because we're both going through the same. 
she rings me up then, oh, what do you think? Shall I do this? Shall I do that? And whatever. You know, obviously she's um, arranged her dress and she's got her bridesmaids and she's arranged her flowers. But she's like, really missing him lots more than she did when he first went. All right, ladies? Oh, look at that. Isn't it pretty? Mm. She looks like a little princess, doesn't she? <laughs> Have you got shoes on with that now? You look, too, you, look, you, look too, you look too tall. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so look at your socks. <laughs> Way. <laughs> so, just get some right tape on, tape on it. That's what I did. <laughs> After six months working as a medic in Afghanistan, Paul Crossley is heading back to his family in Skipton. A bit excited, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I just can't wait to see him, it'll be so, so good. Hello, at last. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's been a long six months. Oh my God, it's Hi, <laughs> So nice to see you. So warm. At least you're all. <laughs> Hi, son. I am, yeah, certainly am, yeah. Paul and Tina can now finally have the honeymoon they deserve. We're actually going to uh, Gambia, just me and Paul, so it'd be so nice because when we got married, we never really had an honeymoon because we were going to Afghanistan. So we're just making up for it now. It's made, my, made me realise how much life means is so precious. And it's like for Paul to come back from where he is, well, that's just a gift, isn't it? So. Despite three months at a dangerous frontline base, Darren has made it home. He is on his way back to Swansea and his fiancée, Holly. The tour is finished. We've done really well out in Afghan. And I'm um, just proud of everyone. I'm proud of myself. Um, it's a really good experience. And I'm really glad I've done it. I think I've grown up a lot more. And I think it's made me uh, a lot more independent. Yeah, it, it makes me feel like I'm ready um, to get married, to, to have a wife, to have my own kids. Hello. But I won't, I won't be long. I'm on my way. The distance between them and time apart has brought this young couple closer together. She's like, uh, she's my, been my rock all the way through this. And uh, she's helped me through it a lot as well, you know. And if she wasn't so strong, I think it would make it harder for me. But her being strong has made me strong as well. And um, I, I love her so much. I just cannot wait to see her. Oh my God! Oh man! Oh, man. Oh, it's nice to see you looking at some flowers. Come on, guys. I know what you're at. Right. You stink the smoke. You can smoke in here. Oh man. You right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, you text me. Oh, oh look God. how long it's been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you it was long, didn't I? It is long. Good things, good things. I love you. Welcome home, guys. So proud and glad to have you back safe with us all. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> okay. Yeah.